going to do a little speed competition shoot. We're going to have to engage targets at four different distances and uh, dial in uh, our dope uh, on the fly. Uh, it's competition, and so, of course, I want to win. Nervous? Um, a little nervous, yeah. A little nervous. I think the gun can do it. It's a question of whether I can do it. Shooter, Bryn, hold up your grouping. I'm pretty pleased with that. They have just three days and 200 rounds of ammunition. A few clips from the upcoming Sun News special presentation, Straight Shot Marksmanship Academy. Canadians from across the country went the foothills of the Rocky Mountains to be trained by former Canadian Forces snipers. Rob Furlong is one of the former snipers doing the training. He joins us now from Edmonton. Rob, tell us about this course. You know, what is the, what is the goal of it? So the basic marksmanship course is designed to bring in people who have kind of an, like an elementary uh, knowledge of firearms and even people who have probably never touched a firearm in their life. We take them from a very basic level of knowledge all the way up through a three-day program to have them engaging uh, steel targets all the way out to 600 meters. And their uh, goal is to achieve on course a minute of angle. A minute of angle is one inch at 100 meters and so forth out to the ranges we shoot and uh, their final you know, confirmation is to hit a six inch gong at 600 meters. You know, Faith took this course. Can I ask you, was she able to hit that mark? She was, yeah. Faith did uh, extremely <laughs> well on course, very positive attitude. Now, let me ask you, why offer this to a civilian population? You know, why not just keep the training for army personnel? Because it's pretty technical. Well, the thing. You know what, it is, it is technical, you're right. Uh, we don't teach civilians tactics. That's uh, the difference between what we offer for military and law enforcement rather than what we're offering in this course to civilians. There's, there's absolutely no tactics. We're just teaching the marksmanship principles, teaching people to become better shooters. And better shooters, you know, that's safety within our communities and safety within hunting. And you know, we want to offer this to Canadians because they can travel abroad and get the same type of training. We have some of the best instructors in the world when it comes to, you know, precision rifle shooting. Why not offer that to our own citizens here? You know, let me ask you, um, how is this any different from the training that uh, our armed forces receive? Uh, there's quite a difference uh, when it comes to uh, what we offer for our military and law enforcement. It's very uh, tactics heavy. Uh, there's a lot of uh, training that we don't divulge into our civilian courses. Uh, so there's, we're teaching probably five, ten percent of what they would uh, get compared to on a military law enforcement course. Now for someone like myself who has her gun license, I'm a target shooter I suppose I would say, you know, why would you encourage us to take this course? Well, for people who now in Canada want to get into precision rifle shooting because competitions are getting huge in Canada now, uh, you know, this is going to give them a skill set to be successful in competing in these competitions. Mm -hmm. But you can transfer all the knowledge that you've used on this course over into the hunting aspect. And we are in a time now where technology and the capabilities of you know, rifles and optics and ammunition is allowing people to shoot further, more accurate. And if they're shooting at animals, uh, we want them to have the training to make those uh, clean kill shots. Now, I know that our own Faith Goldie, who I mentioned earlier, she took this course. She's now obsessed with long-range shooting. Um, are there any dangers that we should be made aware of, specifically with taking the course and, and going forward? Absolutely not. Our safety is our number one concern. Uh, we keep a very high or a very low instructor and student ratio. We average about uh, one instructor for four, for four students um, that allow two shooting lines. So there's a, uh, there's a lot of supervision uh, and control during our course. So safety, uh, like I said, is our number one concern. So you, there's absolutely no risk to our students. Now very quickly, because I only have a few seconds left, but who won? <laughs> uh, I think I was told to say Corey. All right, well, I look forward, well, I'm sure uh, he did tell you that. Um, I look forward to taking the course, but thank you for being here. Nice to meet you. Thank you.